welcome. So today I am going to make a fusion cuisine recipe. I am going to make poutine, which comes from Quebec, but you can generally find it in most parts of Canada now. And I'm going to add Greek elements to it, Greek meatballs and tzatziki and goat cheese. And this video is a collaboration, so please do check out the links of my collaborators in the video description. They will all give you some amazing fusion cuisine recipe, because fusion cuisine is the topic of this month. And come back every month for a new recipe in our cooking collaboration. So I'm going to drain and puree these olives with about half of this bunch of parsley, a lot of parsley. And you would also want to chop very finely garlic and onion to add to the mix later, but I'm not going to do that as my husband won't be able to eat it if I do. I'm gonna add half the can for now and see how much it is. I'll add the whole can, why not? Doesn't that look lovely? So green. A little bit of olive oil. I don't know, maybe a tablespoon or two. Let's see if my blender can handle this. I'm not sure. I added more olive oil and several minutes later, I have a puree of black olives and green parsley. So here I have my puree of olives and parsley. I'm going to add about one pound or 450 grams of ground beef. And here I have one teaspoon of salt, Italian seasoning because it has a mixture of thyme, oregano and basil, extra basil, one teaspoon, a teaspoon and a half of pepper and a good quarter to half teaspoon of mustard powder. This is beef, you could also use lamb or chicken. And we're just gonna mix it until it's all evenly mixed. But I will add about a tablespoon or a bit less of red wine vinegar. I'm out of red wine vinegar, so I'll use just a little bit of white wine vinegar. Here I have a baking sheet lined with parchment paper and I'm going to uh, just form my meatballs. I don't want it too big, so I'm actually gonna make it smaller than the one you see there because it has to be bite-sized, even that's a bit too big. So I'm gonna make it a little bit, yeah, that's about good. This guy's too big, we'll put him back. And I'm gonna do this until my sheet is full. I have two sheets and then we're gonna bake it. I'm really just using this scoop to just kind of give it a nice round appearance. I have here 36 meatballs and I'm putting them in the oven at 400 convection or fan or 425 regular for I'm guessing 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to check them at 10 minutes. Plus, this is an easy meatball recipe. You cook them in the oven. There's no mess and you can freeze them later. I turned the temperature down to 375 because they were burning and it's been 10 minutes and the temperature is over 160 Fahrenheit or 71 Celsius. So they're done. Here we have 35 meatballs because I ate one. Just a tiny little drizzle of lemon juice, fresh if you can. And these guys will be ready. So what is poutine? Well, poutine is from Quebec. It was invented or created first in the 1950s and it is French fries with cheese curds and gravy. It is delicious, but because it has French fries, it is not necessarily the healthiest thing to eat on the planet. And traditional poutine, which is made with gravy, has wheat in it, so it's not gluten-free. But there are many variations of poutine that are gluten-free. And now we're going to finish with the poutine. I am going to make roast potatoes, but I'm going to roast them till they're quite crispy. However, you can also just buy French fries, frozen French fries, and bake them in the oven according to the instructions on the package. Or if you have a deep fryer and you make French fries from scratch, you can do that as well. Here I have my potatoes. I'm gonna prepare the olive oil first. Olive oil, half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, teaspoon of pepper, freehand the salt. Stir this up so that it's ready for the fries. Tiny bit more olive oil. I just really want it to kind of cover the bottom of the bowl. And here I have my last potato. I'm cutting it quite thinly. Really thin, small and thin. I'm 
going to oil my air fryer basket just a little bit to prevent sticking. The air fryer is preheated. Here we have the potatoes. Try to kind of get them in evenly spread out. these straight from the air fryer. Cooked for 20 minutes, which is longer than I would normally cook my roast potatoes. Do the meatballs. Up. There we go. A little bit of bell pepper. I didn't warm this up, so it's just gonna have to, have to do. Now the goat cheese, it's soft and warm. I'm just gonna kind of put plops everywhere. You could use cheese curds or chunks, small chunks of mozzarella cheese, if you prefer as well. Doesn't have to be goat cheese or feta. A little bit more, tzatziki. And let's just sprinkle this all over. The bowl is warm too. <clears throat> Let's start with a meatball. Mmm, with the tzatziki sauce. I just grabbed a bit of feta cheese. Not feta, goat cheese. You can really taste the olives in the meatball. It's really nice. Now let's try a fry. And they're pretty crispy. Mmm. Fries with tzatziki is really good. It's hard to say with a french fry in your mouth. Or a Belgian fry. That's really where they came from. This isn't spicy, but it's delicious. I am really enjoying this. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. And if you like this recipe and want more recipes like it, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like and leave me a comment. Have you ever tried poutine? Have you ever tried Greek cuisine? Have you ever tried poutine made in a Greek style? And do you think you might make this recipe? Have a great day, everyone. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. And don't forget, this is a collaboration. <clears throat> so the origins of poutine are a hotly debated topic. So I will give you the version from the Quebec Tourism website. In central Quebec, which is further down river from where I am in Montreal, but not all the way to the Gulf of St. Lawrence, there are lots of cheese factories. And it's very popular to serve what are called cheese curds, fresh cheese curds in Quebec. Every grocery store has them. Everybody grows up eating them and they are delicious. Their nickname is squeaky cheese because they squeak in your teeth as you chew. It's a lot of fun. So apparently, in 1957, a customer came into this diner in central Quebec and asked for French fries. And they said, throw the cheese curds in the bag. And so that was the first variation of poutine. And the restaurant owner who was making this looked at the customer and says, that's going to make a maudit poutine, which means a kind of a strange mixture. Then, in 1964, another restaurateur in uh, central Quebec decided to put brown gravy on top. And that's when your classic poutine was born. And it spread like wildfire all over Quebec, all over Canada. It has now spread around the world. And you can get your standard diner fast food poutine, pub poutine. But there are high-end restaurants that serve gourmet versions of poutine as well all over the world and has become an amazing success story of Canadian Quebec food. But why the word poutine? Why would the restaurant owner call that first dish a maudit, which means bad, poutine, which means like strange mix of foods? The story is that the English have what they call pudding, which could be a pudding or it could be a dessert. And when the French settlers in Quebec and the English settlers in Quebec started intermingling, the French settlers thought pudding, pudding, their way of saying pudding, it just looked like a strange mix of foods to them. And so they called it poutine, 
That's how they heard the English word pudding and it became poutine. So when the restaurant owner in 57 was saying, that's a strange mixture, maudit poutine, the word stuck and the dish has been called poutine Anderson.